Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to learn one more commonly asked Java 8 interview question. So if you're watching our channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon. So let's get started. So the problem statement states this. So given a list of integers, find out all the numbers starting with one using stream functions. By seeing this problem for the first time, we think, what is the big deal in it? Because we just have to find all the numbers. It starts with one. So here, if you see 10 is one number, 15, 17, 116. So looks like it is pretty straightforward, but there is a, a little difficulty in that. So because the given list contain integers, it's a list of integers. It's not a list of strings or list of any other uh, type. So in case of integer, there is no function by using which we can check starts with. So there is a so there is no straightforward solution. So then what else we can do? So one more option we can think of is like taking this number. Maybe we have to divide and uh, we have to reach that last point. And once we reach this number, we can check whether it is a uh, basically it starts with one or not. But it's not that straightforward to do it using all the streams and all. So is there any other things we can do? So as we know, in, if we use string, then it is pretty straightforward. We just have to start with. So is there any way we can convert this integer to string? So yes, that's what we have to do. Let's see how to do it. So this is our given input. We have to start streaming. And uh, what we have to do is now we have to convert this integers to a string. So what we can do is we can use map. So let's call it as an element. So element plus we have to just do this. So this will basically help us to convert. So whatever your, the lambda expression you're seeing here, right? So what it is doing is it's taking element and it is basically appending with the double quotes so it's basically converting the integers to string so once it is converted to string then it's pretty straightforward we just start to filter all the numbers which starts with one so let's call it as yearly sdr which means elements which are now in string format so which starts with one we can check so once we get it, we just have to put that result in the console. Let's say we just have to print out the results, then it's pretty straightforward. We can use this method reference. This is a method reference as we all know. So let's try to run it. Yes, we got it. We got all the numbers, which starts with one. It's 10, 15, 17, and 116. So I'll just explain the problem solution one more time. So we are just streaming on our list and we are mapping our element and we are just appending the each element with a double quote. So basically it will convert an integer to string. Even there are other ways, but this is an easy one way. And uh, we are applying the filter on the element which are now converted to string. We are just checking if it is starting with one. If so, if this is true, then we are just printing. So as we all know, this for each is a terminal operation. And um, so whatever you are seeing this filter, this is a basically intermediate operation. And even this map is an intermediate operation in the streams. So, and one more thing we should be knowing is in case of streams, intermediate operations are lazy. Whatever you are seeing here, right? This will not be executed until you attach the terminal operation. So that's why uh, streams supports lazy evaluation. That's one of the advantages of streams as well. So let's move on to the another variation. Let's say you have printed this interviewer may tweak a bit. Interviewer may say like uh, you could print all the numbers which start with one. Let's change a problem. Let's print all the numbers which does not start with one. So the whole thing will remain same. And let me just comment this previous solution. So what needs to be changed? So some guys may think that we have we may have to put the not check here, but 
it's not correct because here it's like we are taking the element and we are basically checking here this is the place where the check is happening you can assume this kind of an iteration and this is where the actual if check is happening so this is just it's coming from your for loop just assume this is coming from your for loop and this is where you are checking in the if if starts with then print it so what we can do is we just have to put this not check here so this will do our job so let's run it so it should print all the numbers which does not start with one so two things are done let us say if the interviewer just ask us to print the count of the numbers which starts with one we don't need to basically print all the numbers we just have to print the count that's pretty straightforward there is a function called count you can just use it so you can see in case of intellij if you are using it's if you are not using the result properly if if the result is not utilized then it will show in yellow and if there is any optimization can be done in your code then also it will show uh, in yellow so it's always better to hover on that and understand you can see it's saying stream dot count is ignored which means this count result is not being used so basically return type of count is long so take that to a result and if you want you can just print that and check what it prints so let us run it so it should print four as a result it's printing four so this variation is also done so let's say now interviewer asked us just to basically uh print maybe for example just first number which starts with one so this first half completely remains same this much so what we have to do is we just have to print the first number which starts with one so there is a function called find first so you can call this and um, this find first if you see right just go inside here this will return an optional so as we all know in java 8 this optional got introduced optional is kind of a wrapper class so this optional is very much helpful to avoid the null pointer exceptions so why this find first is returning optional let's try to understand so what this find first does is it will check for the first occurrence of the result and it will try to return let's say if there is no matching result then it will it can return null in order to avoid the null pointer exceptions what java has done is it is wrapping the result in optional so that we can avoid the null pointer exceptions so basically the find first return type is optional that we understood so now how we can avoid the null pointer basically if the return type is optional then we can go for if present or, or the second function that is if present or else so in our case we just have to print it and we know that the number starting with one is present so i'll go with if present so what we have to do is we just have to print this so what it prints is it will print the first occurrence of the number which starts with one let's run it so it's printing 10 so it's perfectly fine and there is one more method okay which is called find any so let's try to run that as well and understand what it is doing so instead of find first you can go for find any and run it so find any as a name indicates it will not assure you that it will return the first element only but it will return any element which starts with one in this case so what it returns is find any basically it will find any on this condition and it will return the result so but in case of normal stream find any and find first both will behave same because both will run on single core but let's say we are running this on multi core so that time find any is faster compared to find first because the it will check in the different cores as soon as it get the result it will short circuit means it will end the execution and return the result compared to the other method that is find first find first is little slower compared to find any so and find any 
will not guarantee this order like whatever you are seeing here right you are seeing 10 for find any as well as when we ran find first maybe i'll just uncomment this and i'll run it so you can see 10 10 for both of these but if we run this using parallel stream it will not assure the same result let's let's try to run it using parallel stream so let me comment this one and comment this one as well so let's say if you are running using parallel stream so as we all know parallel stream is helpful to achieve more performance because what it does is it will take the stream and it will split across multiple cores and execution happens parallelly so which is way faster than a normal stream so now let's see the difference between find first and find any so as we saw in case of normal stream both find first and find any will return the same result but in case of the parallel stream find first will always return the first element only which starts with one but in case of find any it returns any element which starts with one so let's try to run and check it so you can see the find first is returning 10 but find any is returning 17, the second one. So how it is faster, the find any, if we want to understand better, right? So basically this whole thing is split it into multiple streams and execution happens. So as soon as the match happens, as soon as this condition becomes true, find any exits and it will return the response. But in case of find first, it should find the first element which matches the constraint so this is little slower compared to find any in parallel stream so this is one of the difference which we have to understand and uh, as we understood this both find first and find any returns an optional one so we have to just do if present check and as we understood optional is helpful to avoid the null pointer exceptions so it's always encouraged to use optional in your day-to-day -day implementations as well so that whenever there is a case where you have to return the null then do one thing like wrap that null using optional so it's as simple as this so, so uh, let's understand one more concept here here you can see we are creating a list using arrays as list so this is one of the method commonly used um, by many of the developers to create a list using array of elements but do you know about this as list how it is better or bad or what it does in Trali? let's try to understand that quickly let us try to understand this as list uh, method because it's uh, kind of interesting because this may be useful for your interview as well so let's try to understand this as list method Let's hover on this or you can click on this method and go inside also. So basically what it says is it returns a fixed size list backed by specified array. Changes made to the array will be visible. Just you can ignore this. So what it means is it's a fixed size list. And so you can see the methods leave the list unchanged and throw un unsupported operation exception. Let's say if you want to change the list let's say if you want to add an element or if you want to remove an element this list will throw an exception so let's try to understand that quickly so let's say i'm adding an element for example i'm adding three uh, let's say i'm uh, removing an element after that for example i'm removing four so whatever you are seeing right this add is just an element gets added to the list and remove you can see it's at index 4 i'm removing some element ideally both of this operation will fail because it's a fixed side list what it means is you can't change the structure the size of the list should be same so let's quickly run it it should get unsupported exception you can see unsupported operation exception at line number 14 the first operation itself is failed and if you want i can show you the second one also will fail So this is one of the interesting information about this as list. So you can't use as list wherever you want. So you you should think twice before using as list because as list 
has this restriction because it returns a fixed size list so you can't add or you can't remove an element but what you can do with this is you can replace the elements so this is perfectly fine so there is there is a method called set so you can basically specify the index for and let's say i want to replace with 50 so this is perfectly fine the third method so if your need is just to replace something then you can do it but if you think that your um, list is going to grow like if you want to add some element at the end or if you want to remove some elements from this list in future then it is not possible if it is created using arrays as list so it's better to avoid creation of array slash list in those cases you can go for a traditional way of creating so i hope you understood the concept of how to find an um, how to find a number which starts with one so we discuss this approach by converting into string and using starts with method and we even discussed an element if it is like how to find an element which does not start with one as well and we even have the discussion on this count as well and we discuss about find first and find any i hope this video or session is useful for you and if you have any questions or suggestions or anything or if you like this video please show your uh, interest by clicking on the like or you can comment and if you have any suggestions or if you have any comments please please put it in the comment section we'll look into it and we'll revert back thank you